Hey y'all, what's going on? I'm here to talk to you about Empire. That's my show. I'm gonna do a quick review about it, um, just a breakdown of the characters in the last episode. Um, first starting off, Lucius. Um, Lucius is a grade A douchebag, but he loves his family, but he cared more about himself. I don't know about his past or something like that, but he a very selfish individual. He wants things his way. If it's not his way or how he perceives them, then he got a problem with it. Um, Cookie, you know, everybody love Cookie. Cookie is about that life. Um, she's like everybody auntie. You know, she's down to earth. She's cool, but she's still smart. She got that X factor. The only thing one smart, I ain't taking no rap for nobody. I'm sorry, 17 years, that's a long ass time. Somebody going to jail, everybody getting snitched on. Whoever was in the apartment, the roaches, they going to jail, everybody going to jail. I ain't doing no 17 years for nobody. That's, that's I don't know, that's love, that's just uh, obsession right there. That's a little bit too much. Um, then we got um, New York Undercover. I still can't figure, I don't know his name on the show, but y'all know New York Undercover dude. I can't figure him out yet. You know, I know that, you know, they had passed and all that. And from looking from that scene, he, I think he was on that powder back in the day or something. Um, then you got the kids. You got the youngest one, the 11 year old Hakeem, um, who is in love with Drake and want to be the dark skinned Drake. Um, but, and he probably got like Drake pictures and posters on his wall and stuff like that. But the little boy, uh, he's spoiled. And one thing I really don't like is he is in, you know, a molestation relationship with um, Grandma Naomi. That's just nasty. Every time I see them on the screen together, they don't even look right. She's seven foot four, 68, no edges. This little 11 year old boy, you know, he like five four, 11. And he just, just look at his face, he be red, drunk. Trim, trim, trim. Why you don't take me around that? I'm like, that's just nasty. That's not even a good parent. Seeing them two together, that's just nasty. You know, and I know he got mommy issues, and she probably got, you know, some issues because she ain't had no kids, you know, back when her eggs went dried up in 1920. But still, that's just, you know, you could tell she got love for him when she was crying in the car and ripped up the check and she broke his hair, um, you know. But I don't see no purpose in the relationship, really. You know, if she just, ugh, that's just nasty. I'm gonna move on from that. Then you got the middle boy. What is that That boy name? The gay one. Um, Whatever. We got him, you know, he cool enough. You know, he can sing and do all that. He, got, he kind of like a mix of like Eric Benet and um, Justin Timberlake and the Prince. Um, and he cool with his little, a little shakiness and stuff. But one thing that's bothering me about old dude is he always trying to be about that life. It just looked real uncomfortable. Like when he was in the studio with the folks and he trying to, yeah, yeah, what's going on? And every time somebody pull out a gun, you, you the first one in line, shoot me, shoot me, kill me. I'm here. Take me. Man, sit your ass down somewhere. Go on, sit in the back. You're doing the most. You ain't about that life. You weren't old enough and grew up in the hood like that. And, and you just... You overcompensate. You're doing too much. Man, have to be uh, behind the couch. Who, who who got a gun? No, that ain't real life. Don't don't be about that. Then you got the oldest one, Andre. I really feel for Andre, you know. But the nigga, he beloved. He crazy. He crazy as hell. Um, he just got a lot of issues, man. You know, he's always been ride or die for for Lucius and everybody else, and they don't seem to be right or die for him because you know he ain't got that talent like they got or it's not been discovered yet and I think Jennifer Hudson may bring a little bit of uh, you know out of him I like them together and I like his wife too I don't think I don't like about her though she you know she trying to get out there like you knew what their lifestyle was you knew what he was about you know y'all been together 10 years you can't all of a sudden be up and trying to change you know main crucial points in in the marriage, just a couple episodes ago, you said, call me her name. Now you, you, I don't want to do it no more. Now you saw grandpa in the car and y'all used to thotting together, but you saw grand granddad in a wheelchair and you was just like, oh no, oh no, this, this got to change. My life ain't about this life. But now you got to take the good with the bad. You got to go and give it to a wheelchair grandpa who really should be with grandma Naomi, but 
yeah, you 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 can't be flipping it up like that. And this last episode, y'all need to stop with them Raven Simone thing saying she look like squid squid work with a wig on. She did look kind of like that, but you know she she going through some things, y'all. You know, she was trying to make it, and she she looked like she was just a nice wholesome girl, you know, from the hood who had dreams. You know, artistry, and then Lucius got into her head and forced marriage, and she's screwing the son, and she's screwing the daddy. She had a lot of stuff going on. But they shot dude in the head, who uh, Antoine Fisher shot dude in the head when they was all in the house and they was about to sign over for the thing. Antoine Fisher, he about that life. But he shot dude in the head real quick in the back. I'm like, damn, how you gonna explain that to the police? You shot the nigga from behind. I mean, I, I, you see the scene and stuff like that, but your, your life wasn't really in danger. But I, I, I don't know how that worked. They just going to cover it up or he justified in it or whatnot. But, yeah, he about that life. And when they find out, now that was funny to me, when they find out that that, that girl was Lucius, did y'all see how the family quickly shipped their ass off and put them on the plane wherever they were going to go? They gave them probably some hush money or something. They said, hell no, nah, let's sign these papers. She's going to be trying to claim shit. This nigga fit to die. Let's get all this shit situated. Um, Here you go. I'm going to take your ass to uh, Augusta, Georgia or something. And um, y'all just live happily out this little seed money. But y'all ain't getting none of this empire. But you still a lying, though. That shit was so... I was like, y'all wrong. Y'all know what y'all doing. Everybody's like, all right, baby. <laughs> take your ass off. But yeah, the show is good. I can't wait to see the season finale uh, next week. Two hours. Oh, it's, it's going down, y'all. Don't nobody call or text me during those two hours. It's going down.